Welcome back to Learning English Pro. In this video, we will be taking a look at different types of ships and boats and their names in English. Join me as we venture to the seas, oceans, canals and rivers of the world as we explore over 40 new English words relating to this fascinating topic. Make sure to check out the word list in the description below. So if you're ready, let's begin learning English like a pro. First up, let's discuss the difference between a ship and a boat. These two words are often confused, but a ship is a large vessel intended for ocean going or at least deep water transport. And a boat is anything else really. But there is a general rule to follow. A ship can carry a boat, but a boat cannot carry a ship. And with this in mind, let's begin our trip around the world having a look at lots of different types of ships and boats. First up, let's begin with something big. This is an aircraft carrier. Aircraft carrier. We would also call this a military vessel. And later on in the video, we'll take a look at more military vessels. Our next type of ship is an oil tanker. Oil tanker. And this is used to transport different types of oil around the world. It might also be called a petroleum tanker. Petroleum tanker. Our next type of ship also transports goods. This is called a container ship. Container ship. Containers are the large metal boxes that the ship carries. This type of ship might also be called a cargo ship. Cargo ship. Cargo is another word for transported goods. A luxury ship which transports people is called a cruise ship. Cruise ship. And this is like a hotel on water. It has hotel rooms called cabins, swimming pools, casinos, restaurants and lots lots more. Another type of ship which transports people is called a ferry. This type of ship also transports cars. A ferry which you can find on a river or in a beach resort is just referred to simply as a small ferry. A very famous type of River transportation in Italy is the gondola and this can be specifically found in Venice along the canals. Gondola. Coming up we have another small boat, the rowing boat. Rowing boat. And this boat is called a kayak. Kayak. Repeat after me. Kayak. A similar type of boat is called a canoe. Repeat after me, canoe. When it comes to using these smaller types of boats, we often use a tool called an oar or a paddle. So what's the difference? An oar is attached to the boat, whereas a paddle is usually held in the hand. A paddle might come in handy on our next boat, which is a raft. Raft. Now this type of boat is a very simple boat made of just a few wooden logs. A type of raft used in sporting is a white water raft. White water raft. White water refers to the fast moving water around the boat. Another term for this boat could be an inflatable boat. Inflatable boat. And you might even hear someone refer to this boat as a rubber dinghy. Rubber dinghy. Now, what is a dinghy? A dinghy is any small type of recreational or fishing boat. Dinghy. Let's take another look at a different type of inflatable boat called a lifeboat and this is used for sea rescue. Lifeboat. 
This term is also applied to the boats which are held on large ships for emergencies. If the ship is in trouble, people who are on the ship can get onto these small boats and depart in safety. Let's move on to our next type of ship, which is called a speed boat. Speed boat. This type of boat is also known as a motor boat. Motor boat. And it can also be referred to as a power boat. Power boat. A very small type of power boat is a jet ski. Jet ski. I don't know about you, but I would love to try one. If you have, let me know in the comments. Our next type of boat is called an air boat. Air boat. This type of boat is synonymous with the Everglades region in Florida in the United States of America. If this is your first time visiting my channel, Learning English Pro, you're very welcome. My name is Jer and I'm narrating your lesson today. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and share my video with your friends to help my channel grow. Our next type of ship is often associated with the wealthy. Yacht. Yacht. Repeat after me. Yacht. There are different types of yacht. On screen, we have the motor yacht. Motor yacht. And up next, we have the elegant sail yacht. Sail yacht. A smaller version of the yacht is known as the open yacht. Open yacht. Our next type of ship is known for racing and international travel. A catamaran. Catamaran. This ship is distinctive for its two hulls. Rivers which are man-made are known as canals and canals are often where you can find our next type of boat, a barge. Repeat after me, barge. These can carry people or goods and lots of people live on them too. Any type of boat you can find on a canal can simply be called a canal boat. But if you live in one of these boats and it is stationary for a long time, we would call this a house boat. House boat. They are very common in the canals of Amsterdam. Our next type of boat is a steam boat. Steam boat. And these are synonymous with the Mississippi River in America. Our next type of ship is from a different era. The galleon. Galleon. These types of ships were popular hundreds of years ago. A type of military ship which has also been used for centuries is the frigate. Repeat after me. Frigate. This term is still in use today for types of military ships. Another type of military ship is a destroyer. Destroyer. And these came about to combat torpedoes, which are missiles launched in the water by boats or submarines. And a submarine is our next type of boat. Submarine. Now, because it's underwater, you may not think of it as a boat, but another word for submarine is underboat. This is often shortened to U-boat. U-boat. You can often hear this term in movies about World War II. A general term for all these military vessels are warships. Warships. Our next type of boat is very important in feeding the world. A fishing boat. Fishing boat. Fishing boat can describe any type of small vessel used to catch fish but a larger one which catches fish for food supply for the general population is called a trawler. Repeat after me, trawler. So far we've covered over 40 words relating to ships and boats. There are so many more 
and many, many different types of ships and boats that you can find all around the world in different locations. If you can think of any important boats or ships that you think I've missed, let me know in the comments below and I'll compile a list to make a brand new video, which will be the second part to this video. So that brings us to the end of our lesson. Let me know how you got on in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. When you're finished this video, head over to my YouTube channel where you can find tons of English vocabulary lessons on lots of different interesting topics. No matter what your interest is, I'm sure you'll find a video for you. Coming up on screen are some video suggestions along with the link to subscribe and don't forget to share my channel and my videos with your friends. Make sure to check out the word list as well. It's full of all the words covered in today's lesson. That just leaves me to say I hope you have a great day and remember keep learning English like a pro.